Hey there, Aries. Hope you guys' weekend has been good to you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what messages are coming out for you guys today and what you need to know right now for you guys' highest good. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries. Tell about Aries, please. Aries. Love. Reflection. One more. Aries. Mask. Happiness here. Beautiful. So you are definitely radiating some happiness at this time. The more happier that you are, the more that you are making somebody reflect. But this is someone that wears a mask. You wouldn't know that they are actually reflecting. But you also have been doing a lot of reflection, inner work here. That's why it's showing on the outside your happiness. Like you're, you're, you've been healing yourself and you're glowing at this time here. We've got a mask energy here trying to head back your way here. I'll have to see what that love is. Something about... Um, Opening back up for new love. You could be entertaining somebody new. Or this past energy is trying to come towards you with this loving um, facade, we'll call it. Because that's a mask wear. What's the overall energy for Aries? So overall energy. Thank you. Ooh. Failure. So, somebody here wanted you to fail. Somebody thought for sure that you was going to be needing them. Like somebody was waiting for you to fall on your face, but they they still waiting because it never happened. So this person's not doing too good with their life right now. You understand by making a mistake is only a, an opportunity to learn and grow from it. Ooh, this person's not doing good. This person wants you to fail. If there's, and if you are entertaining somebody new right now, this person is wishing bad on your new relationship. Like they... They automatically think that you're just, you're not going to make it out. Like, this is someone that is waiting for you to fall. Like, they're, I just feel like they're just going to keep waiting because you're not going to fall. And then discipline. So, this is what you can set your mind to. You can accomplish anything that you want here at this time. This person doesn't realize how headstrong and determined you are. Like, you don't give up until something is yours. So, creating boundaries with this person now. This person was wishing bad whatever you've been trying to work on, whether that's improvement, your love life, your finances, career-wise. This person was wishing bad on all areas, waiting for you to fall flat on your face. So careful what you wish on people, man, because this person, I feel like, is going to be in this failing energy because they're not doing good. If they were doing good, why are they trying to come back for you? So self-esteem. This person wanted your self-esteem to be down. This person's got a very low self-esteem, so they automatically try to jab at you. This is somebody that wanted you to open up and tell you, tell them certain things about yourself, and then they'd use it against them, you later. That's a sickening energy here. You've done a lot of hard work on yourself, like your happiness. Like This person's ego is taking a hit because you're so happy without them. This is somebody that tries to purposely shred you down. And I feel like they still trying to get back in there and still trying to pull you down with them because they're, they're butt hurt right now. You, you wouldn't know it because they wear a mask. Different, several masks this person wears. But, oh, this person's butt hurt that you're winning right now. Ooh, I told you, envy. I felt that. This is a very dark energy. This is somebody that's giving you um, the evil eye. They're envious because... Like I said, they've been waiting on you to fall and you're not falling. Like, you're not going to fall. I feel like whatever this person is wishing about you is what's happening to them. Like, and I can't say it enough. Careful what you wish on people. <laughs> Man. Aries. Aries. This is the world of dreams. That's another reason this person's envious. You dream big, you have goals for yourself, you've been lining up with your blessings here, and there's just something the way that you are able just to make things look easy. Like this person has tried to set many traps for you and you always come out. Like you are definitely definitely finding out about some um, magical things about yourself too. So nothing, like nothing is out of reach for you at this time. That's n another reason why this person's envious and that's why we're keeping our boundaries up because all your hard work is paying off at this time and this is the world of your dreams. Everything's happening for you. Good things are about to happen. Exactly, I felt that. You've got some really good things happening and you can just feel it in your bones that you've got these major shifts coming your way. So 
that's why you got to keep these boundaries up from this person trying to come back in here for you. For some of you, it could be more than one person from your past, but keeping the boundaries up. you got too many good things trying to head their way. If, if some of them aren't here already, because somebody's found love already too. So, Aries. Communication. I always have the courage and ability to express my authentic self. That's another reason why this person's envious because your throat chakra is now open. This is somebody that was able to silence you and, and shame you and they tried to like talk over you. They didn't want you telling your side of something here. They didn't want you to see your true authentic self. They didn't want you to see the potential that you had and now you're seeing it. They're envious. You've got the courage and the ability to create um, you, you, your words um, manifest. Like you can definitely, your thoughts create your reality. What you speak into the universe creates your your reality. That's why this person's so pissed off that you are you have this magical side to you. Mental clarity. My mind is sharp, clear, and alert. I easily process and retain information, and that's another reason this person's pissed off because your mind is very sharp right now. You're clear. You're alert, and you definitely already know what this person like you. Their behavior is very predictable here. So, very sharp. Silence. And that's another thing that are envious. You're silent. I am quiet. I am humble. I don't need the approval of others to validate my effort or worse. So that's why they're pissed off. They they don't get a say-so in your life. They don't um, have access to you anymore. And you definitely aren't going to let this person project onto you anymore. If this person was trying to give you the silent treatment to try to gain control over you... All they did was do you a favor. Thank you for that, right? So your silence is very strong. That's another reason why this person's envious, man. They would rather you be fighting and carrying on with them. And serenity. I choose to feel calm, balanced, and serene no matter what's going on around me. And continue to be in that energy. Because this is somebody here that I feel if they don't get the reaction that they want from you, this is someone that will try to create chaos and drama around you. So don't fall into that. Remain calm, balanced. No matter what is sent your way, continue to remain grounded. And then that divine timing. I am patient. I trust the events will unfold at the precise moment they are meant to happen. So just trusting in that divine timing, that is a thing, guys. So that's why you got to um, keep, keep that discipline and keep going towards what you're wanting for yourself. But also having those boundaries to not let anybody get back into your life and try to ruin things that are lining up for you. Because you do got some good things headed your way. The world of your dreams is about to come true. I like that for you guys. Let me get one for Aries. Aries. Yes. Look at that. My aura is magnetic to golden opportunities. And that's what you got coming towards you. Beautiful. That's another reason why this person's envious. It's like anything that you touch turns to gold profit. Like you know how to turn nothing into, into everything. Woo, okay, I see you. I can feel your guys' energy. Very powerful. So your aura is attracting some golden opportunities towards you at this time. So don't let this hater try to get back in. Believing is seeing. So this person's about to see some things. And you're about to see some things. Like you're going to be uh, really like, really excited. Like you're going to really see about, there's something here about your magical side that you're about to be aware. Like the things that you can make happen in your life. Like it's beautiful. This person's just going to have to see. I feel like they already are seeing certain things about you. Something about this person trying to, to paint you a certain way too is not, not adding up. Because people are seeing who you are and they're not believing what this person was saying about you. So, this past person cannot believe what they're seeing when it comes to your life. Like, they can't believe it. And there's something about this person's behavior coming back around towards you. Like, you're not going to, it's like, you've never seen a side of them. Like, it's because it's a facade. They're wearing a mask. Don't trust it. Tell me about love. Tell me about love. Why is love here? Queen of Wands. You're very magnetic at this time. Um... Somebody doesn't like that you've taken the your power back here. That you have like you're in this fearless energy. Somebody wanted you to fear love, 
There's something here about you um, getting a lot of attention right now in the love department for somebody here. Like you're just, you're very um, charismatic. You're very like, well, you are a fire sign. You're just fire. You're just, just a lot of happiness, a lot of things that ultimately make you love give you unconditional happiness is coming your way here. Somebody views you as a challenge and some of you guys have a wish fulfillment coming in with the love department. Some of you guys have been swept off your feet by somebody new here and you got this person jealous of it, man. This is all because you've been pouring back into yourself and you've been loving yourself unconditionally here and you've been raising your vibration and you are attracting a high vibe uh, love towards you. And this is about you going down a, a new path here in the love department. Not letting anything from the past keep you stuck. This is about going towards that key. If you look here, it's like going towards a key which unlocks uh, long-term relationships, unlocks the generational wealth. Just beautiful energy that you're wanting. A solid foundation. Somebody wants to find the truth and clarity out about your love life here or somebody is finding out about this love because you got somebody really envious here somebody wants to try to come rushing back in now and this is someone that did not take accountability this is someone that tries to jab at you trying to pull your self-esteem down here and there's something about this person trying to force them say their way back into your life and somebody's really stressing overthinking things Worrying, stressing, because somebody's got a passionate new beginning here. So you've got this past person really, um, really fixated on your love life at this time. So this is somebody that doesn't want you opening back up for new. And if you do have new here already, oh, this person's trying to figure out how to create drama between the two of you. There's a, a solid new offer coming in for the in the love department. Somebody that's loyal, somebody that sees the long term with you like marriage material and you've got like a wife material husband material headed your way here so good it's stable and the past is just gonna have to sit here and be burdened because this person is like this person wanted your life to fall apart and be in shambles but I feel like their life is the one that's falling apart and if you haven't met this love yet, you're, you've got eyes on you because you're really like a very fiery magnet right now. Like people just think that you're just all that in a bag of potato chips. So tell me about reflection. <laughs> tell me about reflection. So this person, the sun, somebody knows you've been reflecting. You have shined a lot of lights on things that you needed to change about yourself. This is about... Um, redirecting your thoughts and talking about yourself differently that's raising that self-esteem and just doing that dark night of soul and just do, getting in there and doing that shadow work facing some ugly truths about yourself so you can get to the next um level of, of healing and growing this person knows that you've done a lot of inner work they know this there's the more that you shine and the more happy you are you are triggering this person this is somebody here that is very um this person doesn't, it's like they know that there's things that they got to change about themselves, but they just don't want to. Like, this is someone that's triggered to, they don't have the, um, the capability to do the inner work here. Tell me more about reflection. Reflecting on this connection, knowing that you want better connections in your life. That's why you are, um, waiting for better things to come toward you, or you already have someone here, but you're just you're raising your vibration and attracting a, a higher vibe lover towards you. This is someone that didn't expect for you to sit there and do all this reflecting during this connection, during the separation. So this person's trying to figure out a way to try to manipulate you with this tower coming in here with this sudden like change up here. Like this person's going to come towards you out of the blue, trying to tell you that they've been reflecting on this connection and they, they know now um, things that they need to change with their life and just they're going to really lay it on thick they're only doing this because you've like this person's really even watching you do the inner work on yourself like really keeping a close eye on what you're doing here and this is somebody here that wants to try to come it's like a fast moving energy someone that um was, this is like a non-committal energy that you were dealing with. And the, the reflection that you've also 
Sorry, my, my, my thought process redirected a different way. Just go with it. But this is about you taking inspired action and no longer wanting to entertain the F boy, the F girls anymore. This is about taking your time to get to know people, not rushing into connections here. And not letting this person come in and out of your life anymore here. Like ending it. Like you, this is where you just really took that, that, um, the, this connection for some of you more than one connection in your life. And you just really pulled back and was like, man, I'm done. I'm changing things. I'm, I'm that's that rebirth energy. Just that's you shedding an old version of yourself and just stepping into a new timeline here. And you've got this person that's watching you. Like, they're going to tell you that they've been doing the same thing. Like, this person's really been analyzing you. This person knows that you're now um, isolating from anybody that's not for your highest good. You guys very well could have went through an isolation period. When that's when you were really doing all that inner work here. That, that isolation period is needed, guys. But, man, you got this person analyzing you. They're seeing all the hard work that you've been doing on yourself, self-improvements, finances, your your emotions, your traumas, everything. This person's seeing you work on all of that. So it's like they're trying to, to mirror you. They're going to be that perfect reflection of who you are right now. So they can try to fool you. Tell me about this mask. What is this mask that they're wearing? <sighs> Telling you that they want this commitment telling you they want marriage or if you were married they want it back that's what this person's trying to fool you with but that's somebody that's still up to no good that's somebody that's got a lot of lies and illusions and for the ones that have a new love this is somebody that wants to try to create um drama with your new connection somebody that wants to try to get in there and have you um like cause deception in your connection so i wouldn't let this person around me i wouldn't even be friends with this person if you've got kids with this person, I would set up a whole meetup out, you know, not nowhere, not even at your house. Maybe meeting in a parking lot or something or just exchanging the kids if you have kids with this person. I wouldn't let them near me. This is someone trying to come towards you with this whole manipulation, trying to paint a pretty picture for you. A person wants to make something right with you. Some of you guys could have been married to this person. This person was going to try to convince you that they don't want to get a divorce now. And for some of you here, this person really knows how to wear a mask. Like, because this is a side note for somebody. This is somebody went to court with this person, and this person knows how to sway judges. Like, very manipulative. This person knows how to. They they're dark. Let's just say it that way. They know how to manipulate. I feel like this person has been manipulating the court system for somebody. But well, this person's trying to make peace with you, trying to balance something out here with you. But this is someone that's got no solid foundation, guys. This person is still in that wishy-washy energy going back and forth, back and forth. This person is trying to create some drama, especially if you have a new lover. I feel like this person, if they went towards somebody else, like it's falling apart, like everything's falling apart for this person that's why they're so pissed off it's like they want to get back into your life and try to ruin yours because theirs is falling apart so this person's trying to get you to choose them again the and for the ones that have a new connection here this person is going to try any which way that they can to ruin a new connection here Trying to get attention, trying to gain victory over you, wearing this mask and coming towards you with hidden motives. Tell me about happiness for Aries. Happiness. You're happy, you're chilling. <laughs> Ever since you walked away from this person, the happier you get. This person sees red. They, they don't like that you're not reacting anymore. So this is about you walking away from anything that, that brings down your vibe here. You're all about your happiness at this time. Tell me more. And you're still being advised to walk away from people that don't want, that try to bring your energy down. Because you've done a lot of work on yourself here. So you've got an offer coming through. Some of you guys could be going back out on dates now. Some of you guys have a new offer here. But something here about financial opportunities and that divine timing. Keep operating in your happiness. Because you definitely got some um, offers coming towards you with finances. And then there's offers coming towards you with love. Anybody that wants to apologize, accept the apology, but that doesn't mean you have to take them back. The forgiveness is for you so you can move forward here. So emotional fulfillment and financial fulfillment. And this is all because 
you've changed some things up and this wheel this fortune all these good things are lining up for you at this time so beautiful do not change do not let anybody in your life that has not done any work on themselves because you've got some uh some good things that you are attracting towards you right now so you're gonna have this person for some other people try to cry try to guilt trip you don't don't let them make you feel bad so you've had to process your feelings your emotions to get to where you're at at this time see this person is going to try to really make it make you feel they they would prefer you to feel rejected not good enough unhappy with your life this person's unhappy man this person wants to like start crying they're miserable without you trying to figure out how to reconcile with you if somebody already has somebody new here and if, the, if this person's trying to create third party energy with a new love this is about not letting anybody hold you back from your happiness and this is about you celebrating yourself whether you're going towards new love connections or you're going to be celebrating something here with your um with your finances here so you've got some really good things. Not letting anybody hold you back from your happiness. And this is about you protecting your happiness. Not letting everybody pull on your empathy. And this is also being more emotionally aware and not letting people lead you by emotions and not letting people project on you anymore. Good. So your happiness is not to be played with. Like you've done too much work on yourself to go backwards. I've got fire, water, fire, Leo, water, water, Scorpio, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, water, earth, water, fixed energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Happiness. You're happy. You're shining. You're attracting more things. It's because of shadow work, man. I felt that. Continue doing your shadow work. Continue reflecting. There's always room for growth and improvement, guys. We don't just go through one little dose of shadow work and that's it. No, many layers to be peeled back, guys. So the shadow work is showing. Beautiful. Your dreams are about to come true. There's something here about you paying attention to your dreams. Dreams are very significant for you at this time. Not falling for these illusions anymore either. It's like you're shattering illusions of what people try to project onto you. Like you are the truth seeker. You illuminate things. The illusions about this player energy. This person could have said that you were the, the one running around, sleeping around. But they're the one. So this player energy is panicking because now you've got better choices. And they are panicking because they are no longer a choice to you. But they, that's why they're wearing a mask. Because you've got some, some better things to be... To be deciding than what this person has to offer you. Aries. Aries. Alone. I really feel like you guys have went through an isolation period. I feel like this other person is just going to have to sit here and be alone. It's like what they wanted for you is what's happening to them. So you, this person's trying to contemplate towards you because this person thought by giving you the silent treatment and trying to pull away from you, like it just blew up in their face. It's like all they did was do you a favor. That, like that was um, part of your growth and you clearly understood what you're supposed to do here. Tell me more. Allowing access. So now this person wants to try to have access to you. And this is also about... Having um, opening back up for new love. Some of you guys, there's already someone's already has new love here. I keep getting that. Not everybody though, but this past person's trying to get access to you. You got this. There's someone new here, mystery lover. So you've got this admirer here, somebody that's ready to come forward. Some of you guys have already met this mystery lover. Some of you guys may know who kind of has a thing for you. You can just. You can, your intuition, there's something about your downloads telling you and, and uh, um, confirming what you are, you're feeling. Tell me more. You got this person trying to figure out who this new person is because they, it's like they can tell the shift in you, the way that you are um, just, it's something about the way your energy shifts when you are talking to someone new, like this person can feel it. So you're special. Yeah, you've got somebody coming in here to really, you know, treat you as the king and the queen that you are. And this person's just going to have to get pissed off. This person's pissed off because you're not falling into their illusions anymore. 
this is someone that used to be able to tell you all these things, but they never, their actions never match their words, and you don't trust that stuff anymore. That's why this person's so pissed off. This is someone that's getting caught. They're being exposed for who they are. And then this person, if they don't get their way, they get pissed off. So just be prepared. Don't, I would just stay silent if you, if you have the luxury with this person. Just stay quiet. When this person finds out you're talking to somebody new, oh, they're going to get that much more pissed off. But, oh, well. Tell me more. Tell me more. Countless suitors. So some of you guys have more than one option headed your way. This past person, it was okay when they had options. But now that you have, you're getting the attention, you're getting the recognition, oh, they, they pissed off. So... This person doesn't like that you're ignoring them, but oh well, right? And this person thought by ignoring you, like that would have had gained control over you. But like I said, all it did was blow up in their face. You've been recharging. Like this person did you a favor by giving you the silent treatment. So this person will emotionally and physically drain you if you take them back. And this person expected you to keep tolerating all their bullcrap and just keep going. And very soon... You got this person trying to come back, and there's something here about um, other opportunities. In love and finances, I keep getting here. So very soon, yeah, ready for love. So somebody that's on no game, somebody that wants commitment, somebody that's emotionally available, somebody that knows how to treat a man or a woman here. Very handsome, a, a very uh, beautiful energy headed your way, ready for love, ready for new things. And this is because you've, you've been in this time frame during this winter of just wanting somebody that knows your worth. And that's why you're not taking any breadcrumbs from any past people anymore. Especially this person. Aries. Bad karma, man. Somebody's got some bad karma. I'm telling you, this person, whatever they wished on you is happening to them. They're failing. Like, they are not doing good. Like... Things are falling apart for this person. That's why you not take this one back. Because you take this person back, you're going to take on their karma. So, moving on. And the, a lot of you guys are this person's karma. They're going to have to sit there and watch you take off and experience love. Be not financially free. Just have everything that your heart could want. And they don't get to be any um, part of your life. They get no access to you. So, moving on. Going towards your money. Something here about this person um, no longer being able to um, to bleed your finances. This person very well was tried to leech on to opportunities. This person could try to gift you something here. There's something about finances with this person. Somebody's an opportunist, man. So this person is definitely seeing some kind of opportunities in your life. And that's this person's trying to come back for it. And then make sure the new people... That you're entertaining, make sure people are who they say they are. Because this is like learning from this opportunist energy so you don't fall into the arms of someone else. This person's ego is taking a hit. So, I'm telling you, this person's very butthurt over you. This person's looking you up. They're researching you, studying you. That's what, I felt that. This person's really been studying you. Like, really, like, they're going to come in here and make it seem like they've been reflecting like you have but they've been watching how you're moving at this time tell me more jackpot you could be um one of those people that win scratch off tickets winning money you could be getting an inheritance you're just getting rich you've got unexpected money finances you are the jackpot and some of you guys are about to meet a lover that's got the same things as you do that's part of your jackpot as well and this person is trying to get some kind of inside scoop about your life nosy all up in your business and this is someone that feels threatened by all the hard work that you've been doing this is someone that can no longer um make you feel some type of way like this is someone that tried to shrink you down but in all reality this person's got some issues they're intimidated by you they're threatened by you they're threatened that you have woke up to who you are they're threatened that you um that your life is getting better and they're they Theirs is falling apart, man. This person ain't shh. They ain't nothing. This is someone that didn't expect for you to take off and run away and just do better at life. This is someone that is okay when they're running, but now that you are running, oh, they're mad. 
You're run right into your, your king queen era. You are stepping into your power, praised. You're coming up, you're in the spotlight. People like you. And this is someone that is hating on your spirituality. Someone that hates on the light that you have, the magic that you have, the power that you have to create anything that you want. This person hates on that. Aries. This is you shifting your perspective. Being better off. The more that you stay away from this person, the more clearer your headspace gets. So continue um, distancing yourself from this person. Like You know you're better off. You're in your ecstasy. You're excited. You're headed for good times. You're just loving who you are. This person really tried to shred you down to nothing. Tell me more. You're healing. Beautiful. Continue releasing, purifying, cleansing yourself. Beautiful. Continue healing. Oh, these came in reverse. So you've got no chemistry with this past person. Like, there's no sparks. This past person wanted you to not experience anything. Um, they didn't want you to have any type of passion or drive for life. But you clearly are doing that. No chemistry with the past person anymore. And the memories. Like, this person's trying to figure out how to get you reminiscing upright, reminiscing in reverse. This is somebody that you don't have to fond memories with. Like, this is like somebody that you're like, I don't got anything to reminisce over with you. Like, you, you're not a very nice person. That's what you're thinking. Like, this person's not nice. Influence. As is someone that, and if they can't get you to, if they're, if they can't get out of you what they're wanting from you, then then they try to go and try to influence how other people look at you. This person doesn't know how to stand on their own. This is someone that follows the crowd. They let other people influence them and you don't do that. That's another reason why this person's envious because you don't need a crowd of people to validate you. You validate yourself. This person's trying to figure out how to put you in fantasy land. I feel like you could have brought up some kind of goals or dreams that you had for yourself. And this person would try to downplay what you wanted and tell you that you can't make that happen. You can't do this. Well, they're seeing you do it. So this is someone that wanted you to feel abandoned, lost. Some of you guys could have had some abandonment issues, but that's part of what you're working on. That self-esteem card that came out. This other person, they... They have severe abandonment issues. That's why they do what they do. They take off and leave before they get left because it really hits their ego bad. And they feel so abandoned by you. That's why they're coming in with this mask on, trying to figure out how to trap you. They want to try to tie you down. They don't want you moving forward. This person's trying to figure out how to get you to convince, how to convince you that they, you know, they're definitely longing for you. They're wanting you. This person's trying to get you back in this energy of longing for them. Very lustful energy, man. This is somebody that comes towards you with this sexual energy. And they're still doing this. They're still lusting. They're still sharing and transferring energy with other people. Karma, man. So this person's, I'm telling you, I feel like this person is like running into endless connections. Like there's something here about this person's bad karma where they're never going to have a happy healthy relationship with anybody until they do the inner work and this person's got some kind of karmic debts to pay because this i feel like this person's really been like hurting a lot of people throughout their lifetime and you've got this good karma coming in because you've been putting out a lot of good things and you are having a lot of good things come back for you and some of you guys are this person's karma like this person's like racked up a lot of karmic debt trying to take you out let's just say Aries, Aries, opportunities will soon knock at your door, debt will be wiped clean, and your bills will be paid in full, your finances are about to change, absolutely, that's another reason why this person's going to be envious, focus on what is important to you, don't give your time or energy to your worries, as this would only amplify them, focus on what matters to you most, with every thought you are creating your future, so Absolutely. Watching where your thoughts go. That's why it's really important to stay in this calm, serene energy and just ice out anybody that tries to come in here and project on you guys. So you got some good things headed your way. So don't let this person, because they're not doing good. So this is someone that will drag you down with them, guys. So 
All right, beautiful Aries, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again, guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Light and love to you guys. I'll see you guys later.